Okay guys, let's go ahead and in this guide talk a little bit about how to do uh, histograms. Uh, so within our commander, uh, we can import our data and we can do uh, this as one of our graphs as well. So let's go into question three, let's grab our data and we're going to go ahead and highlight it. I'm going to copy my data and then I'm going to come over here into our commander, do our data, import from our text file, say that it's a clipboard, say that tabs is my field separator and click OK. And once I do that, I'm going to click on my view, my data, and here we go. We've got all of these in a row. Okay, so that's looking good. So what I want to do now is we want to say like what type of data is this? So if we look at it, uh, since we have a whole list of numbers, it's pretty clear that we have some numeric data. And now we need to just decide if it is discrete or continuous. Now remember, continuous data, we can have like partial values. And discrete, we have to go in specific steps. And so for the number of children, we have to go in specific steps. So that leaves us with numerical uh, discrete data. Okay, great. So now we can go in and we can try to see which of these does our data actually follow. So all of these are histograms where we have frequency and number of children. And we want to be able to just see what it actually looks like. Okay, so we're going to do some basic stuff and then I am going to show you uh, how we can uh, go in and manipulate a few things. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and go do graphs, and we're going to go grab our histogram. Okay, there's only one variable, so it's already selected, number of children, and we can go to options, and I'm going to give this a graph title as uh, number of children, and I'm going to leave this as frequency counts. We could go to percentages, that's another one that we use uh, frequently as well. Uh, number of bins is one that we can play with, so this is... Uh, sometimes where we have to play with bin sizes just like we had to do with our um, with our frequency tables uh, but uh, there's another way that we can kind of manipulate the uh, the bin sizes as well so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and you should have a pop-up box that looks like this now this looks a little odd and there is a couple of reasons why, but thankfully we've talked a little bit about um, because of our bin sizes, we're able to talk about what is actually going on here. So let me take a second and let me make a different, so we haven't done this before. I'm just going to make a um, another frequency table. Just give me a second, go to numerical summaries. So just watch real quick. Okay, so if we notice what is going on here in our uh, in our histogram is the same thing that went on in this specific uh, frequency table. Um, so in this frequency table, notice how it has a parenthesis open at the end. Now this parenthesis open at the end means that it does not include the bottom value, except the very last one it does include zero. So that's why we've got this kind of like double stack here. And then we go from half to one, and that includes one, and then we've got this blank one, and then we've got a solid one, we've got a blank one, we've got a solid one, we've got a blank one. Well, we don't have to do steps like this. It makes it look kind of weird. And what we actually want is it to match up with how we do how we normally do our frequency tables. So when we normally do our frequency tables, we go through basic statistics, our descriptive statistics, we go to our numerical summaries, we click on a frequency table. We click OK, and this is the one that, that, that we want, where we have the zero values here, the ones here, the twos here. And if we were to, in fact, put them into like brackets, right, we would be including, hold on, let me get this down here. We would be, sorry, including the bottom, so, and like zero comma one, and we'd want it to have a parenthesis like that. That's that's what we'd want our bins to look like. That would be for the zero bin. And then for the next bin up, we give it a couple spaces, it would be square bracket, give me just a second, one comma two with an 
empty bracket up top, and that would be for the ones. Okay, so we can do that uh, if we do a few things with the actual code. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this histogram again, and I will show us how we can play with the code just a teeny tiny bit. It's not a crazy amount of difficulty. Uh, there's just a couple of steps that we have to do. So the first things first, I'm going to clear out this spot. I'm just going to delete it out so I've got a blank script. All right, so from here I'm going to go to basic statistics, or sorry, graphs, go down to our histogram, number of children, we can leave all that the same, and click OK. And this is the little bit of code that produces this graphic. All right, there's a few things that, that we need. Uh, to actually fix here uh, and a lot of it is easy and we have to add one uh, one extra what's called an argument okay so the first things that you need to do is you need to find wherever it says breaks equals and then this quotes Sturgis we're going to change the breaks and I showed this I think in one of the previous videos but we're going to delete out where it says this Sturgis with the parentheses and we're going to delete that out. And instead, we're going to say sequence, S-E-Q, and give a forward, an open, and a closing parenthesis. Now, on the inside of this, let me type this out real quick. It's going to be from, let's see if this works, to by. Okay, so we want to go from zero, we want to go to whatever the maximum is. So the maximum I have here is seven. So I'm going to say two, seven. And I'm going to say by steps of one. I want to run this. If it works, that's great. If not, I'll have to take out the, the text. I think it'll work. We'll see. Let me click submit. Aha, it did work. So now I've got my from, uh, my steps, and my two, and it's looking good. So I got from two and by. So I'm starting from zero, going to seven by one. Now the problem that we have here is if we match up this guy with our frequency table, notice how we have this one thing right here that is going from zero all the way uh, to one, and it's including both of these. That's how we get this 500 number. Notice there's no 500 here. Well, what's happening is it's a problem uh, with our brackets, and we can change that problem with our brackets where we say write. So I'm going to go right after this breaks equals sequence after this comma, and I'm just going to type in write equals and capital false and add a comma. Where well, this write false means that instead of having, so if it write is true, that means it gets a square bracket. If write is false, it gets a parenthesis on the right side, and we want that parenthesis on the right. Then I'm going to highlight all of this line of code again, and I'm going to click Submit, and now I have set this box, or this histogram up exactly as I want it. Now, most of the time, like when you're dealing with histograms, like a lot of times you're dealing with histograms uh, with continuous random variables, and continuous random variables don't have this same problem. We can just make uh, a nice histogram, and it'll handle uh, everything just fine. But when we're dealing with discrete random variables, we have to play with how the bins exactly are made uh, so, that the, uh, so that the graphics come out how we want them to. Okay, so once again, in order to get to, to this point, this breaks originally was, let me just run it again so that we can see, we can compare to what the incorrect piece of code looked like. Or it's not incorrect, it's just from our base code. All right, so this was the kind of the baseline, and this is the one that we played with. So the baseline, it had breaks equals Sturgis, and instead we wanted to say from, to, and by. And this gives us a lot more ability to kind of play with how we want. Like maybe we want to collapse the zeros and the ones together, the twos and the threes together, the fours and the fives. We could do that if that's something that, that we actually wanted to do. And this is what we change the Sturgis. We instead make it sequence, parenthesis, from whatever the minimum is, to whatever the maximum is, by 
steps of whatever step size we wanted. For this one, a step size of one made sense, but we could have done a step size of two if that made sense instead. And then the right equals false made sure that we had a um, our bins looking like this with a uh, with a closed bracket on the bottom and open bracket on the top. Okay, so now that we've got this, I'm going to highlight this guy again and click submit. Okay, and there we go. I've got my number of children, and now I want to match this guy up with over here. And you know what? We can actually, let's increase this guy all the way to eight. And I'm going to click submit. Okay. Oh, it looks like we did have some eights in there. Haha. -ha. Okay. So here's what we can do. We need to match this one up with the best one that's over here. So if we go, that one doesn't look right. If we come up here. The frequencies are all messed up. The number of children are way too high over here. And here we go. This is the one that looks almost identical to this, uh, to this histogram that we just made. So we're going to go ahead and click on to this guy. Okay. Now scrolling to the bottom, it says which frequency table is most appropriate. Uh, so we can go ahead and make a quick frequency table. Uh, let's do, or I think we already did that. Yeah, let's just scroll on up. So all you have to do is just kind of match the numbers over here. There's some easy ways that we can see that there are problems. There are, uh, you can just go through and just match one to one if that's what you want to do. Um, but the big key that's the problem here is remember, since this has order to it, right, we need to go in like uh, ascending order from zero all the way to seven. Notice here how it's kind of all scattered all over the place. And so the cumulative frequency like all of a sudden doesn't make sense in things. So we would want to select this guy as our frequency table that is most appropriate. And we can click submit. And we nailed that one as well. So hopefully that helps you get through on how to correctly make histograms.